With schools in Virginia closed through the rest of the school year, districts across the Commonwealth have had to adjust lesson plans. Most have turned to virtual learning to continue classwork, but some students don't have the ability to access their lessons. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott joins us now from the newsroom. And Tamara, you spoke with leaders at Norfolk Public Schools about bridging this digital divide. Yeah, that's right, Kayla. So many students who may not have the technology they need right now, it's coming, but it's coming in waves. In a survey, before, right before the shutdown, that gave us some preliminary numbers and information uh, for us to work on. Acting Superintendent of Academic Affairs Mike Cataldo says that information is what led them to know they need to help provide hundreds of devices for students in need in the Norfolk Public School District. Many of our families have more than one child, so you know, you necessarily wouldn't have two or three laptops sitting around in one house. Uh, and if you have multiple children at home, this is all in an effort to bridge the digital divide that impacts students from lower income areas or backgrounds. It's important for us that students do get the best experience um, that they they can get and that they really have access. Uh, that's, that's really what our big push is. Not all schools in the district will be distributing at once. It starts with high schools on Monday, going by class and school. Cataldo says students and families have already been contacted. It uh, really should be a very quick process uh, by having them in cars. I think that we're going to maintain the, um, the social distance uh, that is important. And we're going to make sure that all the devices that we have that have been in the school um, have been thoroughly wiped down and cleaned. He says they already have resources for any technical issues once in the home, but expect this to help keep all their students on the right track. And if you need Wi-Fi, a delivery of hotspots may be coming in mid-May. Cataldo says this is new for everyone, but it's setting them on a path they had already planned. We're probably going to be seeing a lot more of computer use in education from this point forward based on what's happened uh, in the last couple months. Now, if your Norfolk student could use some technical support or device, reach out to your teacher or principal for help. And for more information on that schedule, head to wavy.com. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.